Hey, there we are. Heading into the forest down here up the road. I got a new toy to review. Um, it's quickly become my favorite, like, go-to summer sleeping... I don't know what you want to call it. Um, actually, it's a quilt. A, a, a down quilt. Um, it's my like a three season type thing. I don't think you can get closer uh, anywhere down past 30 degrees with it, but uh, she's gonna pick a couple trees here that aren't covered in pine sap and we'll set it up and have a look at it. Anyway, I have been, uh, let me turn you back around. I've been fishing this, this creek down here. I have been fishing the heck out of this thing and it's just, I cannot catch anything. I mean, fish that are like four or five inches, two inches, all day long. But uh, for some reason, I cannot, I can't do it. I, I, I don't know. I've tried probably 20 flies today and uh, nothing. Tried to make some footage out of it, maybe a, 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 I don't know what you want to call it, a catch and cook type thing. But um, it was not, it was not happening today for some reason. I got my... Uh, maybe we'll see anyway let's set up this hammock and I'm gonna show you this quilt is a pretty pretty good no all right got a couple trees I'm gonna set you guys down and give you a good sporty view something to look at all right let's select a couple trees here and we're just gonna get to it all right here we go All right, here it is. It's called Get Out Gear. It's a down blanket, and it, you can compress it a lot further. It comes in a, uh, like this roll top stuff sack that's pretty cool. I um, actually really like these. One other cool thing about this is the top piece here is rigid, so when you're putting it back in the bag, you're not fishing around trying to find this very soft, uh, what feels like uh, denier nylon of some kind. We'll look at the, the tag here. All right, material, duck down, 80% and 20% feathers, content sterilized, all that jazz. Um, what is the shell made of? It's like ripstop nylon, 20 denier, I think was the, the, the wording I thought I saw. I've got the stuff somewhere. Anyway, yeah, like I said about that rigid outside thing, I can push the, that right back in there and I don't need to go looking for this. And then you just pull that together. And I roll it that way, cause why not? And if you want, you can just keep rolling it and stuffing it in there and making it very small. Um, I don't like to be pressed for space, so I don't do that. But anyway, I really, really like this thing. This is, this is like a 30 degree and upper quilt. So I'm gonna set her down here right in the dirt and put up this hammock and show you how big it is. The hammock's just to keep it off the ground, keep it clean. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? Here to there? All right. Switch you the other tripod. All right, undo the clip. I'm just gonna pull it out. Like any down thing, you want to get it out of the stuff sack and fluff it. All right, so this is how it looks in the bag or in the hammock. I have not put the hammock top up because they really it would just get in the way 
But I am going to go ahead and put one end of it up so that we can see. Make sure I keep this thing where I need it. Just going to put it in my pocket. Why not? All right, we're just getting in the hammock here, one butt cheek at a time. Might as you end up on the ground. All right, this isn't bad at all. Come on in here. Get out of the mosquitoes. All right, just positioning myself. It's been a while since I have hammock camp, to be honest with you. Anyway, this uh, <laughs> hammock has always had the same issue, that being the, uh, the screen folds in like that. But if you're on an, on an angle in here, it's not as bad like that. But anyway, this, the, today's show is about this down blanket, which, oh, there we go. It covers me from neck to toes. Let me show you that real quick, just all the way along. Right out to my feet down here. And uh, it is, it's light. It's like one pound and some, and some change. Um, 1.1, 1, .1, one pound, one ounce, something like that. Um, really good for four seasons, or three seasons. And as an added layer for like a fourth season, for a very cold winter, I'll be using it to, just to give my, uh, my uh, negative 10 bag quilt, negative 10 quilt, top quilt, a bit of a, yeah, when it's 65, 70 degrees out, it's, it's, you don't need anything, but yeah, this is it. This is pretty cool. Get Out Gear um, reached out to me and said, hey, if we send one to you, will you have a look at it? And I took it, I've taken it out twice now, and uh, I wanted to make sure I liked it before I was like, hey, yo, get it. <laughs> yeah, so, but honestly, it's really good. It's, it's really good. It's, uh, you can get it out of Amazon. It's like 69. I don't, I'm not sponsored by them. I don't get any benefits from it. Um, they didn't tell me what to say. I just, they just said, hey, have a look at it. Tell us what you think. And uh, yeah, we'll send one to you. So I did. I like it. I'm going to keep using it. It is going to be my go-to for spring, summer, and fall. Uh, late fall and early spring, I'll still bring my uh, top quilt. And midwinter, like I'm going out again. I want to hit that negative 20 again. And this will be with me. This will be uh, one of the pieces of gear that I'm going to count on. Anyway, it has one other thing that I discovered. Uh, when I first took it out of the bag, I was like, what the deuce? It's a poncho. It's not a quill. It's a freaking poncho. If I'm talking, I don't even know if you guys can see me. Turn that around. There we go. Whoa. Okay, so up, down, turn around. Okay, so when I took this thing out of the bag, it was buttoned together like a poncho. And so I was like, the snaps are pretty firm. And I thought, I'm going to break this thing taking it apart. But no, it's really not bad at all so if I'm out and about and I don't feel like <laughs> you know I don't feel like where, where are we going come on thumb okay I don't feel like doing like a, a uh, getting all up in my 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 coat like when you wake up in the morning that's one of the hardest things about camping in the winter is you wake up in the morning and you're warm but just warm and everything outside is freezing there's always a breeze up in the mountains so getting up and getting going really sucks i'm pretty excited to use this feature i can figure out how to put her back to get her again as one of these corners has snaps on it you can wear the thing just like a dang poncho come on i know it's right in the dirt there's one okay so that's a snap 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 okay and then come over to the other side here. All right, how do I, uh, yeah, yeah. So you got the middle of the thing, and I'm just putting these snaps together now. It's got these little hooks on it too. I'm not certain what that's for. I'm gonna have to go look into that. Not, not hooks, they're little, loops of, of cloth here and I'm not certain what that's for unless you're gonna put your fingers on it get my oh, what am I doing ever see a man get stuck in a blanket before yeah there we go so it's 
it's got these loops down here. I wonder if that's just a, you know, to hold on to like that. So there, I can sleep with this thing over me. I can then snap it together, climb out like a baby, and uh, go right to making a fire. And I've got this thing draped over me. It's like my own personal shelter. It's pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> I can't tell I'm kind of excited about this thing. Anyway, I do have some of the information in my pack here. Where did I stick those things? Okay, so it comes with a little, you know, just your regular old tag with some information. Is that right side up? Yep. So right over here, um, we got our, our tough 20D ripstop nylon shell, dirt resistance, and pet, pet hair resistant. I know you can put your pet hair on things, fine. Um, maybe some people buy it for their dog or cat. That's that's all you. One pound, one ounce. Uh, like I said, 650 fill power, insulated, compressed easily. So it's just 650 fill down. 80% um, down, 20% feather. Uh, it's hard to find something that's 100% down, 100% goose down. That's not like hundred dollar, two, three hundred dollars. So my top quilt is the economy from uh, Hammock Gear and it's duck down uh i don't know it's like 850 fill with one ounce overfill is like 400 dollars. so th this thing is 69 today 79 dollars. it's well worth it i would say um i was actually looking at hammock gears website trying to decide if i wanted to to purchase a a you know a summer top quilt like a 30 degree or something I couldn't swallow the prices. Like, what the heck? Two hundred and fifty dollars for, for that when all I need is something like this. So thank you, Get Out Gear, for reaching out to me and getting me this thing. This is, this is awesome. Um, like I said, completely uh, unbiased review. Um, I, I'm getting. I'm keep. I'm gonna use this thing. I'm pretty excited about it. And like I said, I like that. I like that uh, hard top to the stuff sack bag because I don't have to worry about where the other side of the bag is and I'm not pushing it inside out. If you if you know, you know. If you've done it before and you push the sleeping bag into a shell, you know it's a real pain in the butt to keep the shell from tucking in around it. That's why I don't put my hammock inside the hammock sack. It's just, it sucks. It's it's hard to get in there. You, you end up ripping it off. And yeah, not my, not my favorite adventure. But if you were to do a different stuff sack, easily you can get it down quite a bit more but like I said I'm not pressed for space when I go out um, typically I'm trying to find more things to fill the space and it's not a bit good habit to be in anyway there you go snaps on it's got another loop-de-loop -loop right over here come on focus so it's it snaps together there's another loop on the bag right there so there you go love it this thing is freaking awesome. Even if I don't use it, this makes a great pillow. So there you go. That's uh, that's me. That's us. It's dark. Pretty dark. I'll let my camera get killy. Can't tell. I'm just sitting in the dirt here. But anyway, if you're from Utah and you got any tips to fish this river, let me have them. Put them down in the comments below because I'm getting destroyed out here. This week I'm going to start tying my own flies. And the first fly I'm going to tie is a Copper John just because that's like the quintessential nymph. And I've noticed something with two forked tails on the end of the, the the goose buyouts, duck buyouts, whatever they're called. They tend to get tend to get attracted to the the, the fish get attracted to those more often. Um, anyway, love your faces. Look at that awesome haircut. Anyway, I've said enough. It's time to get back home. Love your faces, and I will see you guys on the next adventure. Bye.